that's really interesting for people because it basically means that the more you win or the more you lose, those results compound onto each other. And you know, you end up with some like really crazy payoffs, which we know people in DeFi enjoy. You know, so I think like once people wrap their head around options, eventually they'll come to the party and start trading options a lot more. Will be the only DeFi project that I am aware of that has European cash settled options and perpetual futures, which we're yeah, excited to launch those today actually. It's been a long time coming. I think. Yeah, right. Tell us about that. Like so you're launching perps today, right? Like what's been the journey there? Why has there been sort of any challenges in building out, you know, perpetual futures products and yeah, what's sort of the thinking that goes in maybe on the engineering side, but also on the product side of building out a product like that? Yeah, for sure. We bootstrapped our launch with just options. That was sort of our main product. We also had dated futures. Yeah, that was your thing. Like when I was thinking of Zeta, it's like options. Yeah. yeah, yeah. we really like options. We think they're like just a really interesting way to have an opinion on price. Yeah. And that's sort of the background of some of the founders. They worked in the industry for quite a while and they understand options really well. We acknowledge that it's like fairly early for just the audience in crypto and DeFi at the moment. And it's going to take some time before people really start to understand like how these products work. Like I think people are still trying to wrap their head around perpetuals, let alone options. Yeah. And perpetuals, very similar to options in the sense that they are a derivative contract. So it's basically a promise as well. The only difference is that if you think about a legal contract, you know, the terms in that contract will be slightly different Yeah. in that, you know, I explained before with a futures contract for every $1 change in the underlying token, you know, you would receive like a $1 profit or loss on the platform. Whereas with an option, that relationship is a little bit different. And that's really interesting for people because it basically means that the more you win or the more you lose, those results compound onto each other. And, you know, you end up with some like really crazy payoffs, which we know people in DeFi enjoy, you know, so I think like once people wrap their head around options, eventually they'll come to the party and start trading options a lot more. And I think there's easier ways as well to present options. Like I think a lot of people have done the options vaults kind of stuff as well. The difference between options and futures as well, right? Like these are different types of products. And what would be the difference that like we mentioned the rice farmers and all this kind of stuff or the perpetual futures as well. So what would be the difference between say like a futures product, like a perp versus say like an option, which Zeta, I guess when we think of when I think of on-chain options, like I'm thinking of people like Zeta. So uh, yeah, like what's the difference there? Yeah, for sure. So with a perpetual future, you're essentially exposed to one for one change in your profit or loss, depending on the price of the underlying token. So if the token goes up by a dollar, you make a dollar. If the token goes down by a dollar, you'll lose a dollar. So it's this very like one to one relationship. That's pretty yeah. easy to understand, I guess, for most people. It's like, yeah, number go up one dollar, I get one dollar richer. Exactly. It goes down, yeah. I get one dollar poorer, right? Exactly. It's really easy for people to understand. So that's sort of where a lot of the mind share has gone so far because it's just much easier for retail to trade yeah, and, like, and easy to get adoption. Like I see perps in a lot of like centralized exchanges as well now. Like it seems like a lot of people, maybe it's the leverage side of things as well or the hedging or whatever it is, but it seems like it's something that people are able to understand pretty easily or be able to utilize pretty easily, which to be honest, like it is a futures contract. I bet it, like a lot of people probably maybe don't understand the underlying mechanisms of how it works or whatever. But when it's presented like in a really easy way, like I think, yeah, a lot of people like are using perps these days. And yeah, so like Zeta, you guys are providing perps and the ability to trade that, right? So one for one, number go up $1. I make a dollar. If it goes down, I lose a dollar. Stuff like that, right? Yeah. So that, that's something you built. Yeah. And we see that as a good way to bring in users because it's easy for them to understand. We're still very bullish on options. Yeah.